studio, we've gone through a lot of changes in there, you know. And, um, we ended up getting getting Nick in the band and stuff at that point. And, uh, it's funny how you're like in the moment in the studio and you're not really hearing yourself back. So you're like, oh yeah, felt good, felt good, right? I remember uh, Skinny hearing me sing some some old ass song from like the 40s or whatever on my way out. Because at that time I was smoking cigarettes and I stepped outside and had a cigarette break because I was flustered. So I sang some song on my way out the door. Like, he heard it and he goes, what the hell, man? He goes, you can sing like that. Why are we doing that on the cracker? The rest is history, man. You know, we rewrote some stuff and some stuff we just kind of did with clean bubbles instead of screams. And uh, some of it's worked pretty well. He challenged me once or twice in right. the studio, you know, and I remember a clear cut instance. Uh, it was on the song No Easy Way, actually, and I had like several different ways of like trying to sing this song. And he's like, This is not it, man. He's like, I'm looking for something with some fire. It, it kind of, I'm like, I've already been in this motherfucker for like hours and hours and it just kind of irritated me slightly like how about this and, and as soon as I sang the very next thing he goes that was it so I mean you know he's got a way of bringing stuff out too and basically it's it's like this is like the opportunity that I think that we were presented with was bigger than me I think, it, you know what I mean? And I don't mean that in like an ego way, like I'm so fucking big that I just right, got right. so bigger than me. I just mean that like you, you really realize how small you are in that instant for what's going on around you. And I just wanted to rise to the occasion and right. do my best because we were being presented with something that was truly um, amazing. And it inspired me to be my best self. Hanging out. I mean, <laughs> right? you, know, you know, I was jamming with Jeff at that time, and Jeff approached me. He was like, "Dude, you gotta come check us out, man. You gotta come down to practice. You know, you jam with us a little bit. You're looking for a bassist. You start jamming with you guys playing guitar, and it turned into me playing bass because number one, that's what was needed, and I believe that I'm a better bassist than I am a guitarist. To go back to what Nick said, you know, one real moment that I realized that. that that whole bigger than yourself thing it is when we're playing my first show with you guys, the CD release party, and all of a sudden I fucking hear the crowd singing no easy way louder than we're playing it. That's that bigger than you moment. song and it's just got this drive to it that if you talk about those songs that kind of just hit you in the face this is one of those songs you have this drive to it and it doesn't stop and the funny thing about that is at the end of the song it goes into the next song and it doesn't stop the song that caught my attention most absolutely without a doubt is I am killer Right. That, I mean, that song resonated with me musically. That one had the magic book. Yeah, I like that. Well, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Burton Bell from Fear Factory guests on that uh, track. Which was amazing. Yeah. So yeah. Many uh, you know, Talk about the stamp on the battleground, you know. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It yeah. has to come out the way it did. Uh, yeah. It's, it's, it's incredible. <laughs> This was so different because every time prior in the studio we were on the clock, you know, it's it like money. let's do this, you know, let's get it done, let's move on to the next thing. Where this thing, it was all about creative, trying out different things, and there was no worry about it. We were there until 
midnight or three or four in the morning. You know, it didn't really matter. It was what was, you know, trying out different stuff, making, making cool stuff happen. And, but man, I, I was like, I never tracked so much guitar, dude. I mean, I tracked the whole record at least four or five times. At least. Yeah, that's, there's a lot of guitar on that album. There's a lot of guitar that you don't realize on that album. And there's, there's these quirky little things in there that are wild. That I don't know how, I don't know how it got done, but it, it adds so much to it. it. It adds so much flavor and character to the song, and it's just, it's stuff that I would never have thought to put into it. It's such a creative genius, and what it really is, is it's, you know, it, it's four, four minds coming together. You know, it's you three and it's skinny, you go in the box, shaking it up, and then the product comes out. Dude, I totally agree. It's like um, what like you were saying. And you're saying it's like when you're when you're kind of your hands are tied and you know you're looking at all these dollars and shit thrown out. It's one thing, you know. I, I know I've said it before. I feel like um, like okay, this is your job. Go in there and do your job and get fucked on and you know let the next guy go. You know. Um, but to have the opportunity to sit in there and let your mind um, explore areas, you know, because you're you're not feeling tied down and shackled and restricted. There's a whole other, you know. I don't know, man. It was such a freaking awesome thing, dude. And, and to have some of the best people in in the metal uh, music, music uh, industry, yeah, working on our stuff, you know, uh, collaborating with us, um, engineering our music, you know, taking it home, working on it. When we went to mastering, you know, we tried out a couple of people. You know, it wasn't like okay, we're just gonna go with who we have or who we need to go with. It. I mean, I think for a freshman effort to have so many people who were that influential in what they were doing in their genres of this scene, to have their hands on this record is, is pretty awesome. And uh, I'm just I'm just humbled by by the whole experience really. And